Now, Legends Ranch is a little over an hour away from the airport in Grand Rapids, and if you fly up here, they're going to pick you up at the airport. And then when you get here, it's, uh, well, for me, it's like uh, coming back to a family reunion. I mean, I, I've been coming up here so many years, I, I know everybody and hug everybody and say hi, and I can't wait to get the hunt started. How are you doing? Nice to see, see you again. Joy, good to see you. And look at Blake, golly, you're on full time. Good yeah. for you. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the show. And hey, what are you doing? And the Legends Ranch, uh, this week we're up here. It's December. Uh, there should be some snow on the ground, but don't you go anywhere. This is going to be my guide this week. Okay, Wes is a new guy. My name is Wes Brown. I'm a guide here at Legends Ranch. And I'm pretty excited because Keith Wharton's heading here this week, and I get to be his guide. I'm looking forward to hunting with Wes. And we're going to go inside and we'll introduce you to Robert right now. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. Nice to see you. I'm, I'm good. I'm just happy to be here. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, great to see you. Again. Where's all the snow? Uh, not yet. I'm yeah, sorry. I, I ordered you some, but it's late. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you can do a lot of things, but I don't think you can make that happen. There he is. Oh, hello, Keith. How you doing? I'm doing great. Great to see you. Good to see you as well. How was your trip in? It was good. It was as it was good as always. Everybody, this is Robert Sergi. Robert is the director here at Legends Ranch, and uh, he is the most attentive guy to little details that you've ever seen in your life. Yes, thank you, you are. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it is Christmas time, as you can see, and he's got the fire going. There'll be a fire going outside, and we're going to have a heck of a hunt this week. My name is Robert Sergi, the director of Legends Ranch here in Bightley, Michigan. We're excited to have Keith coming back this week. There's a big surprise too. I can tell you one thing, he never stops. He just goes and goes and goes. He's always got a smile on his face, no matter what. He doesn't know the word quit, okay? He is customer service and attention to detail 100% of the time. And when you take a look at the place, whether it's here in the wildlife center or whether it's over in the lodge or whether it's out in the field, every single thing that can be done perfect is done perfect. So I've been coming up here for a long, long time. And uh, one of the things that uh, it just seems like with us, for whatever reason, it always goes to the last day. Maybe I'm just too patient or whatever, but man, we wait to the last day. So, you know, uh, it's very rare that something happens good on the first day as far as pulling the trigger goes. So when I heard I was gonna be guiding Keith Warren, uh, all the guides who've been here for a while have said, well, wait until the last day because he ain't shooting until the last day. So I guess I got my work cut out for me, but that's okay. I'm pretty confident and uh, we're gonna put some deer in front of them. Yeah, we're gonna stop on the way in there and put this Reconics up with a wick. The wind couldn't be any better. camera set up right there okay and a nice scrape right here and I'm gonna be using the new stuff this is the new golden asterisk with scent reflex technology we want to hang it up high enough that a deer cannot touch it okay and we're going to saturate the wick just like that and it's gonna drip right over this existing scrape now what we're gonna do is turn the reconics on and go get the stand This spot right here, the wind is absolutely perfect. Uh, the furthest shot we can get is probably 140 yards, maybe. It's a little field right in the middle of a bunch of thick timber. It is a sweet spot. Conditions could not be any better. And what makes things even better, there's a little heater down below us keeping us warm. Yeah, she's come running in. Bring her baby. Holy smokes. Wes, looky that one right there. Right through there, about 110 yards out. Oh, that's a, that's a stud. It's a nice deer right there. 
Look at that buck. Good gosh. Oh, there's another one. Holy smokes, look at that guy. Look at the body on him. That's a big boy. Yeah, that's a big one there. Boy, the hawks are just dark as they can be. Golly. Nice. The guy behind him that just walked out is a management buck. Oh, look, coming in from the left there. That may be who's been making the scrape around here. Some stuff going on now. I can't believe the activity here. I mean, it is awesome. God, there's crazy something. Yeah, there's another one back over here. I mean, it's like, see him back over there? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I see him. <laughs> I was looking at another one. Man, it's a monster. There's your Michigan warrior right there. You got that right. Look at the one behind him. Good Lord. Oh. Yeah, pass on him. There are so many bucks in here now that... It's hard to keep track of them, actually. Talk about getting busy. But look right here. He's coming at us. The buck that was making the scrape is yep. heading right yeah, in. He's coming right in. Oh, yeah. He's following that little doe out, isn't he? Yep. She didn't get bred. Not yet, anyway. Mm, you see something? You smell right. It smelled good to him. Gosh, he's pretty. Tell you what, where that buck is standing right there. Look at him. He's big. Oh. He's, he's yeah, I'll put here. I yeah, mean, but he's lip curling like that. <laughs> I, you don't see that very often. No, that's beautiful. All right, now he's heading back left. All right, I'm going to see if good. I can stop him. All right. I'm ready whenever you are. Here goes. Gosh, that put it down. Holy crap. What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> Dropped like a sack of bricks. I'm telling you, that is, He's that done. is the, made... the most devastating thing. I'm telling you, this, this whole combo right here, I mean, it's like, it's like, but if I pull the trigger, it's lights out. I mean, it's wow. done. What you don't know, because you're, you're a new guide here, but when Maddie turned 21, we were sitting here on her 21st birthday, and she shot her biggest buck yet. I think he was standing in the exact same spot. Me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy birthday to you. But right now, we're gonna go over there and show you what a monster Northwoods whitetail looks like. Let's go get your buck. There's no track in there. <laughs> oh, that's freaking awesome, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this, what a gorgeous buck. Look at its coloring. <laughs> wow. I mean, what a great shot. Thank you, <laughs> that thank you. Great. The thing, what amazes me is how big he is. I mean, this is, they're post rut, but this guy was yeah. clearly on that little doe. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, he, you could definitely look, see that he's probably lost, I don't know, 25, 30% of his weight, but I mean, just still massive. Yeah, the color of his coat, and look, he's a, he's just a mainframe eight point. Just a mainframe <laughs> eight point. I mean, look at that shot. I'm telling you, that game changer is, it, it is devastating. It's a game changer. It, it is a game changer. It I mean, it really is. Here, insane. hold on to that yeah, rifle no for me, please. Yep. This is, uh, I want to show you these antlers on this guy. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? But this deer right here is not typical, but he's got a typical mainframe. Okay, just a typical mainframe, but every single point has got extras on it. Every single point. Well, folks, I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the week, but I can promise you we're going to be uh, pampered out here at Legends Ranch, and we're going to show you a whole lot more big deer. So after the celebration and the lighting of your uh, torch outside, you're going to come inside the Wildlife Center, and uh, this is where we spend the evenings after the hunt. Here at the Wildlife Center, it's not just a trophy room, it's an educational center. We do a lot of programs where we have kids come out, we have students, and we just teach them all different aspects of conservation, from teaching them about license fees, to teaching them about predator-prey situations, to talking about the veteran hunts that we do, uh, disabled hunts that we do, lots and lots of different programs. So we're just really excited to be able to have this museum on the property. 
Here at the Wildlife Center, it's all about conservation and the future of hunting. I'm here to ask you for a donation. And if you could give me a donation of some kind of a hunt, we're gonna put it in an auction item and we're gonna try to raffle it off. And all those funds will be used for our veteran hunts, our disabled hunts, and all the different programs that we do for kids and students that come through here day after day. If you wanna join us in visiting or supporting the Wildlife Center, please give me a call. I would love to partner with you and your company and see how we can preserve the future of hunting. found out about Legends from Keith's show, right? Oh, I was watching the show with you and your son, and you were here when it was snowing out. So I said, ah, and after the show, I said, let me check out the website. Oh, good. Where are you from? New York. New okay. York so this hunt is a week-long hunt. So what are we going to do now? Mm -hmm. There's always something to do at Legends Ranch. But we have a plan, and that plan is to surprise somebody that's really special with something that's really special. Johnny's been with me for a few years, and uh, I love Johnny. Everybody loves Johnny. What do you think, Johnny? Welcome to Africa. So Johnny's been coming out here for about three years. He is one of the most hardworking people I've ever met. Nobody really thinks about the people behind the scenes, and he makes it all happen. Successful day of hunting. So I'm thinking, okay, here's an opportunity to surprise Johnny with a nice hunt at a wonderful place, and certainly he can get it done quickly. The guides do this deal where they're, they all link up and they pick spots, and I'm in there filming it. And then Keith comes in, he's like, hey, we gotta talk. He brings me over to the table. And then Robert comes over, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what, what is this about? This can't be good. So, we've been coming for nine years, and I think it's a to uh, hit the legends Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about life? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I realized what's happening. And I just couldn't be more surprised and excited. I wanted to honor him and uh, say thank you. So I'm really excited that he can hunt Legends Ranch. Thank you. I really, the pressure's off for you. The pressure's off for you. I'm just yeah, but I gotta work that thing. <laughs> yeah, but he'll figure it out. <laughs> he'll tell thank you how guys. So yesterday I got the surprise of all surprises. Um, Keith and Robert hooked it up and I was not expecting it at all. So uh, we're in this really cool spot. We got a little opening here. Um, so it's gonna be a little tight, but I got Keith behind the camera and I got Wes here guide. I'm just gonna get all settled in, let the sun come up and see what happens. just got set up in a new spot and this is a beautiful spot it's very wide open so I've got two challenges ahead of me one is hoping we see the right deer two making sure that Keith and Wes stay quiet enough to where maybe a buck will actually come out because they're extremely loud and giggling but we're having a good time uh, this is called the island blind because it's surrounded by water and this is exactly where Ryan Tackett Maddie's husband shot his buck was right over there across the way so um, there's supposed to be a lot of good deer in here and either way and Keith we're gonna have a good time so I'm excited it's our last sit but that's typical so we'll see what happens I 
Nice one. There he is, yeah. It's a good mature That's deer. a good deer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. He's definitely what we want. You like him? You like yeah. him? You? Yeah, heck yeah. Alright, yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up. Alright, nice and easy. We're gonna have Just plenty of time. Everything's fine right now. Okay, don't move, don't move. No, I'm He's beautiful. Okay, I'm on him. Alright, you on him? Hold on. Yeah, give me a sec though. Yep. I'm pretty steady. He's walking right now. Hold on one second. He's right. walking a little away from us. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, he's turning. Hold on. Hold on. He's looking at us right now. Okay, he's not smelling us. All right, there he goes. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. You stop him. I'm good when you are. You go ready? ahead. Hey! Take him. Good job. Good shot. Good shot. He's moving to the right. There he is. Go. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. There. Hey, hold up. Stay on him. Stay on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. He's going down. <laughs> he's going down. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That was awesome, man. Yeah, oh, man. Thank you. That was awesome. That was a gorgeous buck. <sighs> Folks, we're getting down to the wire. Of course, true high road fashion. Last night, what, last 30, 30 20 minutes or 30 so? Minutes. Regardless, he's out there done. So we're going to go check him out. And uh, I'm just so thankful for this. This is awesome. Oh, man. We finally made it oh, happen. We made it. Thank you, Keith. Job, this is good stuff. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I am happy to say that here he is. Man, what do you is say, awesome. man? This is freaking great, Thank man. you very I much. Mean... And uh, first off, before I say anything else, I can't thank Robert enough for giving me this opportunity and uh, letting me come out here and hunt. Um, you know, I've been filming here for quite a long time, and I've been a part of so many people's experiences out here, so it's so cool for me to now get the chance to have my own, uh, and I'm very grateful for that. It was an awesome last-minute deal. He came in, and uh, he presented a good shot, and I'm using that Sierra ammo and it just put the whopping on him and he didn't go far at all, did he? Didn't go far at all, I think what, maybe 60 yards and he pulled it right down. Yeah. Right over, which is exactly what you want, folks. So, no, I couldn't be happier and I'm very excited to get him back because here at Legends Ranch, as Keith and everybody else will tell you, you know this, um, there is a celebration that is special for every single deer. So we're gonna go back right now and we're gonna enjoy that and um, I'm just happy we got it done and I couldn't be happier with this experience. Thank you very much. Thank you, I had a great time. This Me is too, brother. Incredible deer and man. And uh, let's go ahead and get him back. What do you say? Nice. Sounds good to me. All right, buddy. Cool. Let's do it. Good. All right, Wes. All right. Well, hey. Congratulations. Appreciate it you, buddy. Awesome Thank you. Yes, it was. Go ahead and pop this. You pop it, man. Awesome job, Johnny. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you big time. Thank you. There we go. Oh, oh baby. Right. This trip has been awesome. Um, and it's not just because I got a beautiful buck. You know, it, it was about the experience and the people, most of all. Just genuinely good down-to-earth people that are a lot of fun to be around. And I want to thank all you guys for letting me film you all week, being a part of your experience and for being a part of mine. It's been a heck of a trip, so thank you very much. And I know that we'll be back soon, and I am sure I'll be behind the camera, and I couldn't be more looking forward to it because it, it's not about the killing. It's about having a good time in the outdoors. If you want to get a hold of Robert over here at Legends Ranch, we'll have a direct link off of our website over to the Legends Ranch and uh, give them a call. When you come out here, you'll understand what the Legends Ranch experience is all about. We'll see you next time. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.